Numbers 13, 25 to 33. This was Moses sending the 12 spies to go and spy the land. I want to really walk with time. And the Bible says that a few of them came with a report that God calls an evil report. Not a bad report. An evil report. Moses, amazing, we went to the land and we saw. So all of them saw. But now they are interpreting what they saw. And some said, we saw truly the land was flowing with milk and honey. But, my God, we saw the sons of Anak, men with six fingers and six toes. We were like grasshoppers. And God was hearing from heaven. And then Caleb and Joshua silenced them and said, let's go up at once. I know what we saw. We are well able. Let's go up at once. What you see, now, there are many miracles that were performed in the Bible, but there were a set of people that when God saw, he never left them the way they are, blind people. God was so passionate about the miracle of the opening of the eyes. Not just the physical opening of the eyes alone, because it was a reflection of something. In fact, the Bible tells us that the primary weapon of Satan so says Apostle Paul, is to blind the minds of the people. That when Satan comes to attack an individual, he does not just inflict, he does something to your mind and casts a spell upon that mind so that you no longer can view things. I hope you know that you don't just see with your eyes, you see with your mind through your eyes. So our interpretation about God our interpretation about life, our interpretation about success is a, we, we view from different vistas, lenses that have been given to us from culture, lenses that have been given to us from a, a sociological context that promotes mediocrity and so on and so forth. And so when we converge like this, we allow the Holy Spirit through the word to open us up to superior dimensions that translate us and gives us belief systems that can help us to reign and to do well in life. Are we together? Every society I wrote down here is a reflection of the value system and the beliefs of its people. Every society without exception. The dominant value system the dominant belief system in every society is what controls the people there. In fact, many of you may have heard when we deal with demons and all of this, we talk about a class of demons called familiar spirits. Do you know their operation? The assignment of familiar spirits is to study a territory and to study the dominant mindsets that keep certain people in certain ways and to guard those mindsets to see that transgenerationally those mindsets continue. This is the assignment of those spirits. So if it's a mindset of laziness, they will protect all of the pillars that make for that mindset to continue. And they continue to market and transfer it from father to son. And then you find out it is the presence of these mindsets that create patterns. Negative, predictable circles. So you can see a society, for instance, that is with predominantly lazy men. I can tell you it's not just spirits. There is an ideology that would have been given to them, transferred transgenerationally, that makes the young men there to believe there is no nobility in dignity. So when they receive of that mindset, those spirits now come and build a fortification around that mindset. We call it strongholds. A stronghold is a belief system that has been fortified by the presence of demon spirits to keep the victim consistently within that circle of thought. So the Bible says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Are we still together? It says to the pulling down of strongholds. Then it says casting down every imagination is the Greek word yetzar. And bringing every thought, right, to the obedience of Christ. You are not changed until your beliefs change. 
you may be saved but just having the experience of the new birth may guarantee your eternal destiny but it may not guarantee your relevance in the earth it will take a process called transformation this is why the holy spirit was given to the church jesus was mentoring the disciples and then when he gets to john 16 he says i have many things to tell you but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you into all truth he will guide you into all truth